All right, so I'm literally going to share some of the best pro tips I've never shared anywhere before that is going to really level up your game in answering the question, tell me about yourself. The reality is there's a sea of people applying for the role you're interviewing for and that you want. So you have to find ways to stand out. Pro tip, add a story element to make yourself more memorable. Now to help us out today, I brought along Basic Betty and hired Hannah for our conversation. Now Basic Betty is just doing her own thing. She is not listening to my advice and she's frustrated because she's struggling to land a job. Now our friend hired Hannah here, my girl is taking all these tips to heart she is applying them and she has offer after offer after offer in her inbox now let's see how these two ladies are approaching this critical interview question now betty would say after graduating from business school i moved to seoul south korea to work for samsung it's a great story but hired hannah takes a story element and makes it more interesting and memorable after graduating from business school i sold everything that couldn't fit into two suitcases, packed everything else, and moved to Seoul, South Korea to work for Samsung. Way more interesting, right? Pro tip number two, sprinkle accomplishments within the first 15 seconds. As the saying goes, the first impression is a lasting impression, so you have to get it right. So basic Betty approaches the answer like this. I started my career in medical device sales for Johnson & Johnson, while hired Hannah says, I started my career in medical device sales for Johnson & Johnson, where I was a number one salesperson in the country. Boom. Now you have the interviewer's attention and they want to hear what you have to say next. Pro tip number three, express your passion for the industry or field. Now, whether you're an introvert or extrovert, that will display differently, but the content remains the same. Discuss what excites you about the work and how that enthusiasm has fueled your career. This approach can convey genuine interest and dedication. It helps separate you from the person who's just looking for a job versus the person who's looking for a career at this respective company. Here's a winning example from Hired Hannah. I love working in medical device sales because it scratches my competitive itch and I get to create a positive impact on patients' lives every day. I would hire her over someone who's just looking for a paycheck any day. Pro tip number four, read the room. See, I have a two minute, three minute, and five minute version to the question, tell me about yourself. And I modify it based off the vibes of the interview viewer. If they seem like they're bored and they're trying to rush along and get through their checklist of questions, I switch to my two minute heavy hitter answer. Now, if they seem like they're loving this answer and they want this to be more conversational and they're engaged, well, I'll move to my five minute story version. See, basic Betty, she has her five minute version and she's not flexible. She forces it down the interviewer's throat no matter what. Don't be like a basic Betty. Pro tip number five, do not share personal personal details. I get it. You love your cat or your dog. You love your kids. You love to go hiking on the weekend. I love it for you. Avoid sharing personal details unless it's directly relevant to your professional story. Instead, focus on what the hiring team cares about. How will hiring you add value, solve a problem, and help the organization reach a goal? Pro tip number six, bring proactive solutions to the interview. Here's a great example. I've noticed that your company has it incorporated incorporated an eye into your technology. Going forward, this is gonna be table stakes to improve efficiency and improve profitability. I'm really passionate about understanding how to use AI in the workspace and actually have a few ideas on how we could do so in a cost-effective manner. I mean, come on. Don't you wanna go get her who is actively finding out what is wrong with your website, what is wrong with your customer service, why is the marketing not landing? And instead of criticizing and pointing those things out, bringing solutions during the interview process, that's a person I wanna hire. You can also post it as a statement. Here's an example of what that might look like. What I'm looking for in my new role is the ability to innovate and increase efficiency in this organization. I see the potential and I wanna help unlock it. Pro tip number seven, and the most most important, practice out loud. You need to write out your answer and say it out loud 
over and over again. I recommend at least five times before doing it live with a recruiter. Say it in the mirror so you can see your body language as you deliver this answer. Record yourself on a voice memo so you can listen back and tweak the answer. Practice with a friend, mentor, or career coach so you can get feedback. There's no need for you to get tongue-tied or ramble in this answer. As a matter of fact, you need it to be spot on. Simply put, there is no substitute for actually saying the words out loud and practicing it. If you like this video, you're gonna love this video that walks you step by step on how to successfully negotiate a salary increase. You are brilliant and you got this. See you in the next video.